Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this text on image effect in Cinema 4D. Now of course the image in the background is actually a flat layer and I'll be showing you how to manipulate that. So you want to go to File, New, so you have a blank canvas like this. And what you want to do then is you want to get your image and drag it into your materials here at the bottom just press yes to this and make sure by double clicking on the material that specular is unchecked once that's done you want to go to the little icon here with all the out pointing arrows and click on background once backgrounds on there drag your material or your image onto your background and it'll be like this now for mine I'm going to make my dimensions HDTV 720 so you get this nice widescreen image and as you'll see, when you rotate your your screen like so, it doesn't actually change the background. So what you want to do is you want to just line it up with the floor of your image. Once you've done that, you want to insert a plane. And once your plane is down here at the bottom, increase the height so it stretches all the way to the back of your background, or this wireframe flooring, and increase the width. Now you don't want to increase it all the way, but just increase it to an amount that would be enough for your text. Now of course when you render this out now, the plane is black and that is not what you want. So, by going to Tags and Cinema 4D Tags, click on Compositing. Compositing, whatever you want to call it. And down here on the options on Tag, make sure Compositing Background is checked. Now when you render it out, it's grey which still isn't great and what you want to do then is you just want to hold control on your background your background material and drag it onto the plane now when you render this out the plane will have vanished and it, you cannot see it anymore but that's not it yet what you want to do then is insert your text and obviously the text is tiny compared to this huge resolution image so just increase the height and my height is 1386 for anyone who wants to know and just type in snow or whatever you want to type in obviously you probably won't want to type in snow on font I'm going to choose Coolvetica because I like it and then I'm going to add the extrude nerbs to the text just to give it a more three dimensional feel And once you've added your extrude nerves, I'd like to bring up my depth to about 80. Actually, no, I'll bring it up more than that, actually. I'll bring it up to about 470. And now we render that out, you get your text like so. It doesn't look very realistic at all. But maybe I'll just drag this down a little bit here. That might look a bit more like it's on level. That looks a lot better. Now on your materials, as it's a snow theme, I thought, you know, why not give it a bit of a snowy look? Um, maybe add a bit of a reflection and on textures, go down to Fresnel to give this nice shiny effect. And there you go, you've got your snow like that. But of course, it doesn't look very realistic, so you want to add a light. Like so. And now when you render it out, your text looks a lot darker. Actually, I'm going to take off the reflection on that. And hopefully, that should look a lot nicer. By dragging this around and making sure that my little icon is here, I'm going to be able to manipulate the light like so. Right, I need to sort this out again now. Right, that looks a lot better now. Now, on the light options under shadow, Make sure that you've got shadow maps soft on and bring down the density slightly. Now when you render this out, it should look like this. And now that looks like the text is sitting nicely on the um nicely on the background, even though the background's not actually there. So that looks quite good. And um, for the sun, you want to just duplicate the light. Like so. And then you want to drag the light back.
just make sure that's aligned nicely now yep you want to just drag that line backwards and up and you want to on lens go to sun 1 and when you render that out now you should get a nice big bright sun above here sun 2 also looks quite uh, oh, star 2 sun 2 also looks quite nice actually that looks a bit nicer actually I prefer that but just want to bring down this text slightly and it's not quite touching the floor ok now that's in the ground don't want that just drag it up slightly I think that's about right and they oh still slightly above <laughs> oh. tell that would just have to do <laughs> that looks nice like that and you can do this with anything really you can do it with roads you can do it with mountains of course it doesn't have to be flat you can obviously rotate your text onto any size you want and I think this gives a nice effect it's nice for like layouts backgrounds videos even if you learn how to motion track properly you can make really nice videos and it's just a really good effect uh, you can also take away the light and obviously then be left just with the sun and with this nasty shadow here but what you want to go to is your render settings and you want to go to effect and ambient occlusion now when that's on change your minimum ray length to about 150 and your contrast to about 35 now now when you press render preview you get this kind of nice shadow before and the um, the lights are a lot more realistic so as you can imagine if the sun was behind the text you, it would be dark um, it's quite dependent on where the light would actually be I mean in this photo the light would probably be in front if it was actually there obviously this photo has been taken on quite a dark day or whatever Let me just angle that up again. This can be quite fiddly actually when um, when you're editing things around. But yeah, I don't think actually, no, actually, that doesn't look as quite as good as the last one. So stick to my method and it will look a lot better. Or just bring down the rays a little bit, maybe to about 100. Might look a bit better now. There you go, it's not as frosty on that so yeah just play around with the settings as you wish and uh, have fun making your text and image see you guys next time in my next tutorial or my next vlog or my next I don't know some kind of other video be sure to follow me on twitter for the latest updates on video releases and like my fan page on facebook see you later